Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I've been scrolling through Race Department. Um, I've been looking at mods for Assetto Corsa. Um, I'm basically just trying to find something cool that I would like to feature. So what I found is there is a version of the Dunsfold Test Track. Now the Dunsfold Test Track is made famous by the show Top Gear. Um, and it kind of got me thinking that we see all these kind of celebrities driving on the test track and it kind of made me wonder how do I compare to the celebrities? So basically I'm going to take the Toyota GT86 out, which is the current Top Gear um, reasonably fast car now. Um, and in sort of following videos, I might take out different cars and try bits and bobs. And basically I'm going to be aiming for Chris Hoy's current lap record in the uh, GT86, which I believe is a 135. Um, now the contestants get a limited number of laps. So I'm going to be limiting myself to 10 laps, which basically means I get five runs because I have to do another lap every time I finish a run. So I get five runs at this. Um, but without further ado, let's jump on track and see how we uh, how we do. But before we do that, um, if I could please ask you to hit the subscribe button if you are liking this content. If you like what I do and watching me drive and do silly things like this, then uh, hit the subscribe button and of course hit the like button down below. So here we are for run number one. Um, this is doubly interesting for me because I actually own all of these cars. Um, I daily a GT86. I have stuck it on the street tires. I'll pop the little tire widget down to the right hand side just so you can see there's no kind of weird skullduggery going on of me putting it on semi slicks and kind of proclaiming myself to be an amazing driver. Um, so we are going to get underway now as uh, we kind of just launch the car. Now I've been told that the best way to launch this car is literally to rev it to. Uh, about five and a half thousand RPM and just dump the clutch and just let the uh, car just naturally launch itself off the line. Um, as we, I'm going to be nice and conservative into the first corner this time around, just make sure I get through. Ugh, big old armful of oversteer there. Now, I have also fiddled with the tyre pressures, put them at something kind of fairly reasonable to what you'd expect on a road car, just because uh, obviously softening the tyres up would give me a bit more grip. Um, and I'm trying to make this as fair as possible as we try and make our way through the hammerhead for the first time, try and carry as much speed as possible, try and keep the revs up as much as possible. Now, I don't know if the follow through is, uh, if the follow -through is flat. Um, this is going to be quite interesting, actually, just to see if... Uh... Oh, yeah, not flat. Really not flat. Really not flat. Oh, God. That grass comes up very quickly on you. So uh, we'll just cut that corner nicely. Just uh, take a touch of the uh, the little drain on the inside and head all the way out to the right-hand side for the second-to-last corner as uh, we try and carry as much speed in as possible just to kind of slow it down for the last corner and make our way through and that was a 135.7 so that's very close to Chris Hoy's time um, I've got about pff, about half a second to find um, so what I will do is just do another kind of casual lap just cruise around and start again at the start line so we're back at the start line for run two so just kind of more of the same, just try and be a little bit braver into all the braking zones. Um, just try and be a bit crisper on all the gear changes. So we launched the car off the line and immediately just from that launch I've lost a couple of tenths just uh, on my way through. As we head down to the first corner, now I'm going to try and be a little bit braver on the brakes this time around. and Just uh, try and carry a bit more speed through the corner, get on the power nice and early. But that doesn't seem to have gained me any time as we try and carry a bit of speed through Chicago and it's again I think I'm overdriving the car a little bit too much as uh, I'm kind of losing time through those sections so I wonder if I need to slow down on the uh, on the entry and just kind of let the car roll out of those corners a little bit So 
so again head to the follow through we'll try and get this a little bit cleaner this time um, last time just a bit of understeer there as we try and get the car straightened back up again to go past the tire wall and just try and carry as much speed as possible through this section so I'm about half a second down on uh, my first lap as I make it and you have to wait an absolute age to turn into that corner so yeah not gonna not gonna gain any extra time that time around that was a 36 2 that time so uh, yeah So here we are back at the start line for run number four. Now run number three was a complete write-off. I uh, blew it on the way into Chicago and cut the corner. Um, I thought it was quite unfair just to put that one in. So uh, we'll start again at run four and see uh, how we get on. So uh, we launched the car again and one of the things the car, this car is kind of known for is being a little bit slow. Everyone that reviews these cars says... Uh, they could do with the turbocharger and a lot of the guys that own these cars do in fact turbocharge them as we uh, just try and trail break into this corner a little bit just throw the car in try and gain a bit of time now having looked at the replay I did go back and watch my last kind of first couple of laps I am losing a shed load of time in the last sector so the last couple of corners seems to be my point to find a lot of time at this point um, that seems to be where I'm going to find that kind of half a second at the moment as we uh, hard on the brakes and you can kind of hear the actual my rig squeaking just trying to get that round the corner as we just try and hold this in nice and tight I did have a look and that seems to be the way to gain there we go you can see I've gained a lot of time through that section um, and now I don't know if I'm allowed to cut that um, kind of painted section. I'm airing on the side of no. To be honest, I don't know as it would do me much good to uh, kind of cut that section. Anyway, we go right out to the right-hand side. You have to wait an absolute eternity to turn in for this second-to-last corner, and we actually lose a little bit of time through there, but gain a bit. No, we were going to gain a bit through there. So that was a 35.8 that time around. So we are around the ballpark, and uh, I think I'm just going to have to send it into the final corner. I think that's the way to find that kind of chunk of time that I'm missing at the moment. Okay, so here we go, run five. This is do or die time. This is send it into all the corners. Um, like I say, I think that final corner is where I'm losing a lot of time. I think it's where I'm going to find those tents to uh, get me through to uh, to Chris Hoy's time so let's launch it and see uh, see how we get on so again like I was saying on that last run um, this car quite sluggish and I've lost a couple of tents already just from launching off the line so you can see how important that launch is and getting that right and kind of managing the wheel spin as we ooh, just kind of have to manage the the oversteer uh, just dipping a wheel on the grass that's not going to cost me a bit of time into Chicago for the uh, five, fifth and final time and just try and hold the car as close to the inside as possible and just kind of keep that line nice and tight try not to uh, run out wide and we are going to lose a little bit of time just on the way down to this final corner as we, you can see how much effort I'm having to put into braking for uh, for these corners now to really kind of push as much as possible to gain as much time as I can. And uh, I'm about eight tenths down at this point. I'm really going to have to send it into, and I'm just using the throttle just to rotate the car a little bit through the follow through, just to try and gain a bit of time now six for half a second to find to uh, to my time and again wait an absolute age before I turn it in really push as hard as you can just to get 
late as a dare on the brakes. Oh, I overcooked it a little bit, I think. Yeah, so there we go. That's the fifth and final run. Um, 135.7 was my fastest time. Um, I'm going to go back and do an outro to this video and uh, see if I can uh, kind of compare my time to Chris's and see how we get on from there. Surprise, I'm back. Um, I thought I was okay with not beating Chris this always time. As it turns out, um, the competitor in me won't let me stop until I beat his time. So I think the contestants get 10 or so laps in the car. So I think it's only fair that I get a run six, right? So uh, we're going to give it one more go and just launch the car and see how we get on. Um, I've kind of screwed up that last, uh, last corner in the last run anyway, so that's bugging me. Um, so I am going to do one more run just to see if I can get closer to Chris Hoy's time than a 135.7. Doing the car no favours, the car screaming at me. There we go, we're already up, but not by much. As we down into second, try not to be tentative. And we're losing time again. Just... Uh, not by a lot though, we're down by a tenth on our time. Down towards Hammerhead, late on the brakes as I dare. Just try and get as early on the throttle as I can. And just gain some of that time back to down this straight. Now I'm going to absolutely send it through the follow through, I'm going to try and just pin the car in as much as possible just go on stick so there we go that was uh, <laughs> full send through there past the tire wall and cut as much as I can um, I'm still about two tenths down on my final on my fastest time and again waiting so late to break for this just on the grass There we go, there's a 135.4. I, I, I'm happy with that. That's uh, about as fast as I'm going to go on these tyres. So uh, I'm happy with that. And uh, yeah. So yeah, there we go. There was a 135.4. Now, Sir Chris Hoy um, actually did a 135.4 on the show. Now, on the show, they don't go into any more detail. They don't give you the other decimal points. So... I'm going to say that I'm as quick as Sir Chris Hoy. Now, that's quite an achievement. Sir Chris Hoy is a legit racing driver, as I mentioned. He is a uh, a Le Mans entrant. He does, uh, does race GT cars. So I'll take that as a win. Now, if you have liked this video, then, of course, do hit the like button in the uh, at the bottom of the screen. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what I could have done better. If you think that you guys can do a faster lap, then leave me a comment and tell me what your times were. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. But for now, that's all.